Hi there, this is Doug Cuban of GIS Coordinator Limited. Here I am in MapInfo Pro. It is version 16, 64-bit it happens to be. And um, I appreciate version 17 is now out, uh, fairly recently. It's now out, but we, we've done regression testing with this XYZ tile server back to MapInfo 12. So hopefully that should cover everyone out there. So we certainly know that from 12 to 16, um, and indeed uh, we'll be uh, running it through 17 in the next day or so um, but I'm sure that'll be fine but uh, it's been uh, thoroughly tested so after we receive an order we'll, we'll create a workspace for you which will have a, uh, a, a related WOX file as well but of course you, you don't really need that we don't, we, don't, we don't do anything with that but we deliver it as for completeness sake um, and indeed you make your own might make your own updates to the workspace anyway so which uh, would be saved to a WX file um, under map info pro 16 so um, but it's the war the WOR file that uh, you'll actually kick off and that will point to various tab files that also are sent to you um, which include the URL and API key uh, for your uh, for you as a user and indeed your your company so from the file open menu you, you would um, run uh, the Orbis workspace. So what, this will uh, go off, check the connections, etc., and bring back the uh, the sort of overview uh, of Orbis. Uh, it creates a group layer called raster back uh, raster background, and uh, within that are all these tabs that come up. But of course, th this this is this is just map info. So, a normal map info. They are raster layers. They're just normal map raster layers. So these these can you can change these names. You can change this um, uh, group name to to what you want. There's rename there, um, and there's rename on the on on the this color layer. Um, so you can do what you like and, and indeed save it as a different workspace name, etc., etc. So it, 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 this is a starting point. That's that's what this is to get the data in, and and it, this is what you should get. If you don't get this, you have some kind of text message that appears. It'll it'll have a text message maybe that says the API key is not valid or something. Then obviously something's gone wrong. Then please do get in contact. But this is this is what you should see. So um, uh, so. If we go to the um, uh, map uh, menu, we can zoom in, and um, I can draw a marquee box, marquee zoom, and just zoom in and show the um, sort of bit of the sort of European um, area. And I click, I can rather than marquee, I can just click once. Again, more details appear as I go through the levels. I can click once, and it'll, again, it'll half the distance. And I can keep on clicking and um, until at some stage uh, I've got what I want. Uh, these are all tile levels. Uh, they're they're um, uh, tile uh, levels from, from the service. So I can make sure that the nearest server level is actually used, which will make sure that the resolution, um, that the, the scale is set. Uh, for that resolution of data and it's set correctly so you you would use that to tighten the um, the, the the view make it clearer if if necessary uh, and that's zoom to nearest tile server level that's what that does the um and and that, that that's something that works on other like wmts as well as things like that so uh, it's it's a useful little little feature so you can see how we've got uh, uh, Lester here, and we, we pan as normal. You know, you, you, using the um, normal normal tools, and we can turn off the color one and activate, for example, uh, the grey one. So this hits the grey service. So if you want to bring out the colors of your assets, for example, uh, make them stand out, uh, perhaps a bit more a bit more uh, clear, you can uh, use a grey background. And, and do that. This uh, sort of night vision one that's for to reduce the glare on uh, devices at uh, at night time. So, but but feel free to you know have a look at those and have a have a play. They're really um, uh, apart from you know, grey and uh, 
uh, and night vision certainly, and even the green one, um, all, all very useful. Uh, but also it demonstrates how we can uh, customise the uh, look and feel uh, very easily of, of the uh, map base sort of as a whole, uh, the hues, the colours, etc. And indeed we can burn in uh, your company sort of brand colours and things like that. But there's a separate video on the uh, uh, the technicals and the ins and outs of uh, Orbis as, as a data set. This is purely about map info. So so that, that that's it. That's literally all... all, all, all all we have to do, uh, we just open the workspace and um, and we, we've got it. And you can see the, um, I can do a marquee uh, zoom out here and previous view and all the rest of it all all, all work. You can see some of our topography uh, appearing here, which is uh, very nice, uh, really enriches the user experience um, instead of just this sort of very flat uh, surface which you get on other on map products. This uh, gives you a good idea of uh, really what is there, what is the terrain like, and and, and it's uh, um, it definitely enriches the u user experience. Users uh, have reported back they really like that. So um, and and it, like I said, it is a raster. So if we go to layer properties, you can see it's got the um, usual style override for a raster layer. Um, you can um, set a transparency setting. Uh, the opacity, or oh, sorry, translucency, um, all that sort of thing to see through it, and you can override some zoom ranges. But but in the main, in the main, you're getting all the um, important information, all the configuration information from the tile server. You, you you should really just be letting it do what it wants. Um, granted, you may want to alter translucency, maybe, or, or something like that. But but that I, w I would have thought that's about it, really. Thank you for watching this video. If you do have any questions or would like to know more about the Orbis uh, data product, then please do get in contact with us. Thank you.